well done you you did it you made it to the end of year 11 we survived mainly all intact um and first thing is i am so so proud of how hard all of you have been working um you have done an absolutely brilliant job i am like bursting with pride at how brilliant you all are i know results are coming up and i'll be live here um at two o'clock on results day to deal with any issues to answer any questions try and give you as much help and advice as i can I've done a load of videos in the previous years about results day, um, about getting papers remarked, about what happens if things are horribly, horribly wrong, um, all kinds of things like that. So um, I'll put a link to them down below, you can just go and check out those videos again. But there are a few things we need to think about over the summer holidays. Number one most important thing is go and dip your toes in the sea. Yep, I would say that is your number one thing to do for the summer holidays. Just get a group of friends together, get a picnic, um, and hop on a train, go and dip your toes in the sea. And the majority of places in the country, you can get a train to the beach in, you know, a reasonable number of hours. So that is my number one recommended thing for you to do. Then... We need to start thinking about next year. I know, I know you hate me for saying this, and I'm really, really, really sorry. Um, but every single year, my year 12 class turned out bright and fresh, and they've gotten absolutely everything that they learnt at GCSE. Um, I'm afraid it doesn't. You, you need your GCSEs to do A levels. Um, so if and I know the majority of you are going to think, mm, you'll miss you being ridiculous. Of course, I'm not going to get bored over my summer holidays. But if you find yourself a tiny little bit bored over the summer holidays, you can start preparing for your A-level. If you are doing A-level chemistry, I have made this easy because I've written a lovely little booklet for you. And then uh, you can start on the beginning bits of A level with my other lovely little booklet. But this is just kind of like taking GCSE and making it a tiny bit harder. Next year there are gonna be loads more A level chemistry videos and A level biology videos on my channel as well. So do not go anywhere. Um, for the rest of you who aren't doing A level chemistry, think about why you are not doing A level chemistry because it is awesome. Um, then start to Think about what you can do. Are there some books that you can be reading? Here are a load of books that Prim is keeping a watchful eye over um, that I've reviewed on my website which are going to kind of like be an introduction to the general, general topic around science. Then there are just some other cool books over here. Cool books over here. Hi Prim. Oh, she's still playing again. This is a very good book. It's a good book to take to the beach. It is called Cows, it has nothing to do with any animals. Um, but yes, go to the beach, start preparing for your A-levels. Um, I'll be here on results day to help you through everything. What's she doing now? Oh, she's loving these books. Um, yeah, good luck guys, we have done it. Um, I really, really hope that you'll stay around for next year because there's loads of A-level stuff. Even if you're not doing A-levels, I have done loads and loads of stuff about applying to university. And um, there's a whole playlist on that. If you are worried about your A-level choices, do not worry. It is not too late to change them. Um, and it is really, really important that you have made the right A-levels so that when we think about the future and applying to university, you can actually go and do what you want to do. So, well done guys, I am super, super proud of you and I will see you in a few weeks time on results day.